What's up guys, welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today I'm gonna to be walking around a 1962 Impala. This car's got a Dayco Correct 327 inside it. Runs and drives very good. We just were stopped in the middle of the test drive to do this walk around video. I figured I'd get somewhere a little bit away from the heavy traffic, a little bit quieter area so I can walk around this car and talk to you about everything that it needs any scratches anything that i see we'll check the interior out pop the hood pop the trunk and uh, get some undercarriage shots if you don't mind go to maplemotors.com close to 100 detailed pictures financing information transportation wheels tires parts and accessories if you don't mind hit that subscribe button we're gonna get started go up here in the front anything i see you will know about the front bumper on this actually looks very clean. It's a few little scratches right there in the middle. But for the most part, that bumper looks nice. And across the hood, it's like a little chip there. Couple little dimples in the paint there. Some chips up front. Same with right here. Trying to zoom in for you on the edge of that bumper. Also a little scrape. The tires on this thing look fairly new. They don't look bad at all. Couple more chips right here. Try not to miss anything. A little bit of pitting on the mirror as well. We're gonna get pretty low and check the bottoms of the doors. Any kind of rust, anything that I see. To me, it's looking pretty solid, so. Just a lot of little paint chips. A bit of history, the guy that used to own this car owned it for 25 years. The glove box on this car is completely filled with the receipts. It's a big packet. It's pretty thick. And it's labeled repair list. So he's done a lot of stuff to this car. Got the skirts. Little chip in the paint there. Looks like you got some touch-up paint on that one. I think I have a scratch going down the side. I don't know if a kid ran into it with his bicycle or what. But the height level, that'd be my guess. Got the dual antennas in the back couple holes where some emblems used to be be sure not to miss the top part of the car here's some light scratches they should come out with a buffer this car definitely got a good shine to it we'll check out the back end I love the way that looks it's one of my favorite in the classic cars is the Impalas the back just looks awesome. Exhaust tips, look, looks like they put on the, the covers. They're a little bit crusty. The back bumper seems to be about the same shape as the front. It's got minor scratches, good shine, but definitely not perfect. Go ahead and pop my magnet tag back on there. This may be the worst spot on the whole car is this back quarter here. This looks like they tried to wet sand the scratch out. Had a little bit of a scratch pop up back here. Somehow or another. I'm not sure what they hit, but they did the same thing here.
Same spot around the skirt there as well on both sides. The bottoms of the doors look solid. I'm not seeing any bubbles popping through. Main issue with this car's paint is the chips and scratches. All right. Now, since I didn't go ahead and open it before the video, I might have to flip the camera. There we go. And I noticed the hinges, they're barely holding themselves, so the hood's not gonna stay up. He actually put a little stick in here, the previous owner, I assume, so that you could prop it up. Just need some new springs in the back here. Date code correct, 327. Does have the AC compressor, it is not working. It doesn't even have the belt on it right now. Power steering on this car. Nice quiet motor. Let's go ahead and check the interior out and we'll get this thing started up. We'll pop the trunk first. They've carpeted the trunk. Check all this out. Some weather stripping's in good shape here. Yeah, the trunk doesn't look too bad. Uh, I like how they did the little panels on the side. Uh, another cool little thing is there's a handle here. I assume you can lift it up and put your spare tire. Oh, it's red carpet underneath it. Yeah, it se separates it out. So it looks pretty good. Go ahead and look up in here. Nice and solid. Looks like you got your under dash air kit there. Somebody took that out. Probably didn't work. Trunk shuts nice and easy. Let's go look at this uh, door here. It's in good shape. Panel looks good. The weather stripping looks decent around it. I like that carpet. It's got a good look to it. The seats are in good shape. They just look kind of dirty. It's a little wore in, I guess. I mean, they're a little bit older, so I'd say they haven't been replaced here recently. Headliner looks good. Let's go ahead and sit in here and try some stuff. I noticed the windshield wipers, they work. But when you cut them off, they get they stop in this position. And I'm not sure why. I actually haven't seen that before, so. I've seen it to where you can stop them in that position, but starts up nice. These gauges are working here. Water temperature comes up. Of course, we've been driving around doing the test drive. Oil pressure's around 25, 30. Gas gauge was floating around and the speedometer did not work. It never moved. It is showing 77,000 miles, but without the speedometer working, you're not gonna go up anymore horn does not work on this car and like i said the wipers do and i've tried to stop them there they always stop there I've tried to stop them as soon as they come up and they just stop there i'm not really sure i can cut the car off and push them down as soon as i turn the key on they go back so 
did have a new fuse panel up under the dash here. Hope they got some speaker wires ran. And the radio does work. Got to give it a second to cut on, though. All repair records. It's a thick packet. Tons of receipts in there. Well, the radio was working on the way here. It is very old. There it goes. All right. Go ahead and try our fan just to see if it kicks on. And it does. I hear it blowing through the dash right now. Y'all hear that? All we're going to get is heat, though. There's a little light here. Gives you your interior lights. You see that cutting on? Go ahead and shut the hood down now. We'll finish up this uh, walk around. Let me give you some undercarriage shots. We're gonna start up here in the front. to move on over to the driver's side here. Now we're going to head to the rear. to the passenger side. Guys, I do appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day. Also, check my website out. I'll put it down in the corners of the videos, almost every one of them. It's maplemotors.com. Financing information, transportation, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories can be found on that website. If you like my video, I record with the GoPro 7. I've got a link in the description to give you the exact thing that I have and the equipment that I use. So there'll be two links down there. You can click on them, purchase them, and have exactly what I'm using here. I do appreciate y'all watching. Definitely check out the test drive video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. We're working on it here in the parking lot. I went ahead and did my walk around here because it was quiet. Y'all have a good one.